right now, thousands of people from really all over the Midwest are in Minneapolis to celebrate Pride Weekend. The Pride Festival is taking over Loring Park all weekend long. Twin Cities Pride is one of the largest Pride Festivals in the country. There are about 400 booths and close to 40 food vendors on site all weekend, and organizers expect some 400,000 people to participate. This year's Pride marks five years since same-sex marriage went into effect in August of 2013. And Kate Raddatz spoke today to one of the first couples who married that night. We followed their story since the night of their wedding. Time has gone really quick. <laughs> Al Jarreau Isaacson and Jeff Jarreau Isaacson were the first same-sex male couple to be married by R.T. Ryback at City Hall in Minneapolis just after midnight on August 1, 2013. I think in Minnesota we've had greater acceptance throughout the state. I think with people have seen five years later, the sky's still there, you know, the sky hasn't fallen. This is actually my first time coming to Pride. Larry Zhang, who was 17 when same-sex marriage became legal in Minnesota, came out to his family that year. I'm Asian, obviously, so like my parents were not accepting, and it was kind of hard, but after coming out when I was 17, they've definitely grown more used to me being gay. The Pride festivities have grown, too, with 300,000 visitors in 2013 to estimates of up to 400,000 this weekend. This year, Jeff is volunteering at a booth. Still, he says there is work to be done. Making sure that we're including all areas, including transgender, in addition to the LGBT community. And I think it's just like the bare minimum of like respect. I think that, that goes a long way. If you didn't make it out to the Twin Cities Pride Festival on Saturday, you can still catch it on Sunday here at Loring Park. And of course, the big Twin Cities Pride Parade will also happen on Hennepin Avenue at 11 a.m. Sunday. Reporting in Minneapolis, Kate Raddatz, WCCO 4 News. And for the first time this year, the Minnesota Vikings also have a booth at the Twin Cities Pride Festival. For a list of vendors and hours, you'll find all that information posted for you at WCCO.com links.